continent of Africa and taking over to these lands and other parts of the world to work for no pay. Okay. And so, um, in the depleting of the human resource of the individuals who were involved in that Western powers that were dealing with that part of the, the world, uh, the continent, they realized that there were some natural resources outside of those human resources. And so, when slavery was subsequently abolished, uh, the Berlin Conference in 1884 convened because certain individuals wanted to figure out how they can capitalize on those natural resources on the continent. And so, once that occurred, then that laid the foundation for the need for liberation because Africa became colonized. And so, um, through the years, dealing with the uh, 1920 Pan-African Movement and Marcus Garvey and those who continue to struggle in that regard and um, brothers and sisters on the continent, specifically Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana is coming and getting involved in those Pan-African meetings and conversations, took that spirit back to uh, the continent and got liberation for their territory over in Ghana Sekou Toure in Guinea, uh, Patrice Lumumba in Congo, and the list goes on and on and on and on. But at the end of the day, it culminated with the forming of a organization of African unity in, in 1963. And their first meeting was held in May. And this is why we still do African Liberation Day in May now. And this is an international celebration in its 42nd year this year. It's in its 41st year here in Detroit. Um, in the 42nd, well, when it first started, May 27, 1972, uh, Washington and San Francisco. There was about 60,000 participants. And the reason being is that in the 60s, with the Black Pride Movement, you had a re-identification of people here in America with brothers and sisters over on the continent. And the uh, black is beautiful and the whole spirit was sweeping. And so the movements subsequently occurring for freedom in Africa, the people here were fighting for their freedom. And so they can identify with each other. And they wanted to support their brothers and sisters over there to make sure that they were successful in what they were doing. And um, I just imagine what it would be like if we would have continued in that vein of supporting each other and what we're doing on an intercontinental basis. But that being said, so that's why we celebrate African Liberation Day to this day because the struggle continues. There have been some victories in the past, but we must continue to forge our ties so that we can align our resources and move forward to build a new world, a better world for our children. Oh. Oh.